I've come to realize that knowing God deeply means learning to let go of condemnation. For so long, I carried this weight, this constant guilt over my mistakes, and the shame I couldn't shake. But then I encountered a truth that changed everything. Romans 8.1 says, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Imagine that. In God's presence, we are free from condemnation. Let's let that verse settle in our hearts. No condemnation. Not a little, not sometimes, but none at all. When we are in Christ, God doesn't see our flaws or failures. He sees us through his Son, covered in grace. How would our lives change if we accepted this fully? Romans 8.1 calls us to live as forgiven, to walk free from the shadows of our past, resting in the assurance that God has already taken care of our sins. 2 Corinthians 5.17 reminds us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. God calls us a new creation in Christ. The old life, with all its regrets and mistakes, is gone. Each of us is made new, defined not by our sins, but by God's endless grace. Imagine being clothed in that new identity each day, living in the reality that God sees us as his beloved, not as broken or condemned. Jesus' purpose is described in John 3.17. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus came not to judge or condemn us, but to save, to rescue, and to bring us back to the Father's love. When I think about that, I'm overwhelmed by his compassion. He came for us to give us a hope and a future. How freeing it is to know that Jesus is on our side, offering forgiveness and freedom rather than condemnation. The love of God is the key that frees us from guilt. 1 John 4.18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. God's perfect love replaces fear with peace. Living in this love allows us to let go of the need for perfection or the fear of judgment. It's a call to rest in His goodness and be assured that we are secure in His hands. Galatians 5.1 says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. This freedom isn't something we earn, it's a gift. But we're also encouraged to stand firm in it, to resist the temptation to return to self-condemnation or regret. It's a reminder to hold on to the freedom Jesus offers and not let the weight of past mistakes define our future. Living in the freedom of no condemnation is a journey. Each day I'm learning to trust this promise a little more to let go of shame and to embrace my identity in Christ. If you're carrying guilt or regret, know this, God doesn't hold it over you. He calls you loved, forgiven, and whole. So walk forward in that freedom, letting his grace be your strength. Embrace the love that holds you, knowing that with God there truly is no condemnation, only freedom.